Hey, I'm Gina Paris, and I want to talk to you about winning your game by really spelling out your vision. You know, there's a saying that most people don't get what they want out of life because they don't know what they want. Or Alfred P. Newman of, you know, Mad Magazine fame used to say, uh, most people don't know what they want. They're just pretty sure they don't have it. Well, that's not the case that we want for you. We want you to be crystal clear on your desired outcome. We've talked about sowing and reaping and starting with the end in mind, and it is so important for you to know what does your harvest look like. I often call it your promised land. What does your promised land look like? And more importantly, perhaps, is who are you in your promised land? There's a story told uh, in Hebrew history about these spies that went to spy out the land that God had promised them. And they came back and, and 10 out of the 12 said, hey, it's a really great place, but we were just like grasshoppers there. And it caused them to lose the promise. I, I hope that you will take time to enlarge your self-image. We used to think that a person's aptitude, what they were good at, determine their self-image. Like you'd be good at, you'd find yourself good at art, you'd see yourself as an artist. You'd find yourself good at sports, you'd see yourself as an athlete. But through the years, studies have shown that the opposite is true. The way that you see yourself, in fact, is what contributes to your aptitude. So your self-image is the most important of all. So today, please take time to get quiet. Go to what Dr. Maxwell Maltz calls the theater of your mind. Take some time and, and watch a movie of yourself. You have the luxury of creating the script and being the star and being anything you want to be. And do it every day. Look through your own eyes to see how life is going to feel when you've achieved your goals. Uh, watch as if you're on the movie screen how you look and carry yourself when you've become the person that does achieve these goals that you're going after. It all starts in your mind. If you can see it, you can achieve it. If you desire it, you probably were born for it. You can trust that your desires are good, especially when you're not motivated by fear or greed. I trust that your desires are good. You're made in the image of God. He loves you and has a fabulous plan for you. Until next time, I'm Gina Paris reminding you that we are here to help you get built up to win. Come see me at builttowincoaching.com. But most of all, just keep playing to win and enjoy your game. I'm in your corner.